the formula for the volume of a cone is V is equal to pi over 3 R squared H. Okay, in some books, they also call, say, they can also give you this formula like this, one third pi R squared H. They both mean the same thing. Okay. Where R is the radius and H is the height of the cone. Okay. Find the radius, find the find a formula for the radius R of the cone in terms of V, H and pi. So let me draw a cone just for you to see what a cone looks like. Hopefully you know what's a cone. Say this is a circle cone, a rough sketch of a cone is like this. Okay, so my drawing is not that good. Say this is a cone. Okay, so this is called the radius. This is the radius R and this is the height. Okay, so you can so let me call, say, let's say this is this distance from the center of the cone to the circle is R and this is height. Okay, so now we want to find a formula for R with respect to V, H and pi. So let me write the formula first. So V is given to be pi over 3 r squared h so we want to isolate this r r okay so in other words we want to uh, bring r squared alone so i want to cancel this pi over 3 and h from this side and bring or keep r squared only alone isolated on the right hand side so if i want to get rid of so the first step is let me use a blue color. So if I want to get rid of this uh, pi over 3, what's the op? How will you cancel pi over 3? So well, the op I want to, if I want to cancel this pi over 3, I have to multiply this side by 3 over pi. Because the opposite of pi over 3 is 3 over pi. So if you multiply this side by 3 over pi, I'd also multiply this side by 3 over pi. So what will happen? So 3 and 3 gets cancelled, pi and pi gets cancelled. So we have done one step at a time, so we can say, well, so this is 3 v over pi. Now you may wonder where did they get the 3 v. v has a denominator of 1. So basically you're multiplying v times 3 is 3 v and 1 times pi is pi is equal to what is left over r squared h okay so now what should i do i want to get rid of this h from this side so i'm going to divide this side by i'm going to divide this side by v sorry h i'm going to divide this side by h so i can also divide this side by h just like that so this I'm putting a denom h in the denominator here, so I have to put uh, h in the denominator. So I'm dividing both sides by h. So what happens? h and h gets cancelled. Okay, so now I can write 3v over pi h is equal to r squared. So let me write the other way around, so I can just say r squared is equal to 3v over pi h. Okay. So now, if I want to get rid of this r squared, what should I do? What's the opposite of r squared? Or squared? What's the opposite of r squared? Sorry, squared. The opposite of r squared is square root. So I have to take the square root of this side. So square root of r squared is equal to square root of 3v over pi h. So whenever you do square root of uh, square root of the right hand side you have to put plus or minus here i'll explain why so yeah so square root of r squared is r is equal to plus or minus square root of 3v over pi h now why why should we put plus or minus i'll explain that suppose uh, let me do a side example here okay suppose you have x squared is equal to say 36 I want to get rid of the squared, so what should I do? I should do square root of 30, sorry, square root of x squared. 
square root of x squared is equal to, I should put plus or minus square root of 36. I'll explain why. So, and square root of x squared is x. Okay, some of you may wonder how did I get this. So, square and square root are opposite of each other. Okay, so let me show that on a calculator. So, if you go to run, suppose if you go, shift square root of phi squared is phi. Okay, so square and square root cancel each other out. Square root of, sorry, shift square root of, say, 100 squared would be 100. So, square and square root cancel each other out, so you get 100. But when you're finding square root of a number, you have to put plus or minus. I'll explain that too. So this is nothing but plus or minus. Square root of 36, I hope you know, is 6. On a calculator, it will give you only one answer. If you do square root of 36, it will give you only one answer by default. It's only giving you a positive answer. Now, how can you... Uh, why it gives you only one answer? Because you should... Calculator expects you to know both the answers. And I'll explain what I mean. So, if square root of 36 is 6, it means 6 squared is 36. If square root of, say, shift square root of, say, 25 is 5, means 5 squared is 25. But here, I hope you understand, 6 squared is 36 and minus 6 squared also gives you 36. Okay, so that's why you had to write both the answers. Now in this case, radius cannot be negative, but in some cases when you learn physics later on, it can become negative. But you can say, but radius, you can say, but radius is always greater than zero, which implies R in terms of V, H and pi is 3V, over pi h. Now, if you don't write plus or minus, it's not a big deal at this stage when you are at a lower level, but later on you should understand square root of a number, if you are taking square root of a number, you have to write both the answers, plus or minus, of that number. 